everybody in a good mood today. It was uh, the warmest day of the year, and Bruce, you told us it would be that. You know, right before now. today, 55 was our warmest. We've done that twice this year. Today, we smashed it. We went all the way to 61. It was great. Yeah, it was Isn't just that great. awesome? Yeah. I had the sunroof open today, and I got to open the side windows at the same time. You know that's a warm day when I'm doing that. I hope you had a chance to get out and go for a walk, maybe let the dogs run around or whatever. Here's what's going on. What a way to start the day. We had a beautiful sunrise, some low clouds and fog this morning as well. A little frog in some parts of town, and then we kicked that uh, fog to the curb. We broke up the low clouds. We brought out the mountains from Mount Hood to Mount St. Helens, which you see here, and just beautiful sunshine all over the place. And it wasn't just the Willamette Valley. Oh, no. It's been gorgeous all day along the coast as well. In fact, this is a live look right now from Cannon Beach, our Tolavana in camera. Temperatures in the 50s, basically no wind. And nothing but clear sky. I mean, look at the people on the beach right now. I'm so jealous. All right, high temperatures today. We made 61 in Newport, 61 in Portland. By the way, our record high today, 63. So we're just two degrees short. Redmond, you hit 60, close to 60 in Pendleton. But wait a minute, what happened to Eugene? 46 degrees, stuck in the low clouds. Really, just now clearing out, really within the last hour, most places. Very interesting. I'll show you that on the satellite in a minute. We did have a chilly start. We knew that would happen because of the clearing last night. Tonight's going to be another cool start uh, or, or cool finish, and then I guess cool start tomorrow morning as well. But temperatures won't be as warm tomorrow, I'm afraid. Now, fog and low clouds were very slow to clear. We I mean, look at all the sunshine up here, but notice in the Southern Valley, I mean, this is the last six hours. Take you all the way through, you know, 515, and there's still low clouds in the Eugene. Area. So that's why those folks never got to warm up today. Meanwhile, let's take a look to the west. This is a weak system that's coming our direction. It will bring us a chance for some showers. It will also push in some more ocean air inland, and that is going to give us some drizzle around at times tomorrow. A definite temperature switch as we get into the weekend. Today, here we are into this bubble of warm air, and hasn't it been awesome? But guess what? There's cooler air on deck as things kind of drop in over the weekend. Saturday and Sunday are going to be cooler, a lot more like the weather we've just been through the last few days than the weather we're experiencing today. Now, here's raincast. 7 o'clock tonight, still nice and clear. Temperatures cooling quickly from one edge of Oregon and Washington to the other because of our clear skies. Clouds increase overnight, 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. We may have some passing showers around. You will find some in the foothills of the Cascades and along the coast. As we go through the day, Occasional showers or pockets of drizzle will pop up from time to time, and we'll have a mix of rain and snow in the Cascades, with that snow level dropping down to about 4,500 feet in the afternoon, so back down to the passes. Now we take you into Sunday, mostly dry in the valley as far as rain, but I think morning drizzle is a pretty good bet. We'll have some snow flurries up in the Cascades, and most of Sunday actually ends up being dry. We'll probably see some filtered sunshine or sunbreaks, but in the morning, drizzle would not surprise me. So a grayer weekend. Get outside fast and take advantage of that last bit of sunshine. Mostly cloudy tomorrow along the coast. It's mostly cloudy in the valley with drizzle and a few showers both the coast and the valley. Should be mainly dry east of the Cascades. Uh, temperatures cooling a little bit. More clouds for you. Becoming uh, cloudy in the gorge and uh, we're also going to be clouding things up on Mount Hood tomorrow. So mostly cloudy. 42 for a morning low in Portland. We do make it to 51 tomorrow. But watch for drizzle and a few showers. Most of us are right around the 50 degree mark. Here's your seven-day forecast. Drizzle and showers tomorrow. Maybe some morning drizzle on Sunday. And then Monday, President's Day, of course. A lot of people off. Isn't that wonderful? Rain develops on President's Day. That's our little three-day holiday weekend gift to you. Oh, this is a great Friday, though. Thanks. Beautiful.